Hello guys, myself again in the solution set the problem on it. Remove outermost parenthesis. So we are given a valid parenthesis string and we have to remove the outermost parenthesis and return the remaining parenthesis. So what I mean by this? So let's say what is valid parenthesis first? If they are given a parenthesis like this, see for this opening value we have closed parenthesis, so it will be cancelled to the end of sigma. If we have like this, so for this opening we have close, but this one single remains, so it cannot be a valid parenthesis. So this is what the meaning of valid parenthesis. So if we go and cancel it, at, at the end it should be empty. So here in the given question, we have to remove the outermost parenthesis. So that means, we could see here, this opens, okay, then again this opens, here it closes, so these two are cancelled out, then again here opens, closes, cancels, this closes, so that will be equal to this, Next, same thing applies here, open, open, close, close, so here you could remove the outermost parenthesis, this will give you single thing, single thing, and here if you remove the outermost parenthesis, it will be this. So these are, now you cannot eliminate any of the parentheses because they are supplied. So this is what we need to return. We have to remove the outermost parentheses and return the function. So how do we solve the problem? So with the given question, let's have a variable called balance. Initialize it to 0. Okay. So we start iterating with the string now. So first character will be over here. So your character is equal to equal to what? Open bracket. So if character is equal to equal to open bracket, we have to check whether the balance is greater than 0. Is it greater than 0? No, it is equal to 0. So we cannot perform anything. Just keep it. Next, increment the balance y1. Balance plus this. So for all the opening, it's increment. For close, it's decrement. It's something kind of, so for opening, increment, incremented, then decrements, increments, decrements, decrements. So it's zero. This is one entire thing. So you can remove this and this. Then again here also. Increment, increment, decrement, decrement. So you can remove this and this. That is what it means. So, okay. Initially you have the pointer over here. Balance is now greater than zero. Skip to the next parenthesis. In this case also it's open bracket. So balance is incremented by greater than zero. Now balance is greater than zero. So what we add that to the output parenthesis. So this will be added. So again increment the balance by one because it's an open parenthesis. Next one. So this time character is equal to one. Closing parenthesis. So here check if here, what we need to do? Your first balance must be decremented. So that will be one. And then we check whether balance is greater than zero. So is it greater than zero? Yes, it is. So and then add that to the output string. So this will be output. So why am I decrementing balance previously before taking condition? We'll get to this. So again, go here. This is open. So check whether balance is greater than zero. Yes, it is. So add one then. If it is greater, it indicates there is one outermost parenthesis. That's that one. Next balance will be incremented to two. Again, move here. In this case, balance will be incremented to one. Next, add that to the outermost string because balance is greater than zero. Again, move here. In this case, it's a closing bracket. Balance will be incremented to zero. So this is why we need to first decrement balance to 0. Otherwise, if balance is greater than 0, then we will add this bracket as well. That's why we need to decrement it first and then add the check whether we need to add that bracket or not. So let's move here, right? So that will be same as repeated and this won't be added because balance is 0. Other to be better, last one won't be added. So this is how we solve the problem. So in Java, uh, we can use string builder. In C++ directly we can use because string is mutable in C++. So I'll create a string builder. Oh. So 
percent contribution next if balance equal to zero we initialize so now for character each character in s so since it is string we need to convert it to array so s dot to character array check if character equal to equal to open parenthesis then if balance is greater than zero result down append of correct otherwise after that increment the balance by one so else if what is character equal to equal to close in parenthesis so then you have to decrement the balance first check if balance is greater than zero then result dot append of character so at last we need to the result dot to string so the string the object will be converted to string and it will be written yeah and for C++ all these are not required directly with the string plus C++ you can use so string result initialize it then cannot initialize this declaring the balance equal to character if you open bracket you increment add it and subtract it successfully submitted if you understood the concept please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel we will come up with other videos